I just got a buttload of diamond painting pens, 13 of them exactly. But for this video, we're not gonna care about these. <laughs> we're not gonna care about these. We're gonna focus on da 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 tweezers. Woo! We're gonna try diamond painting with tweezers. And literally, I've seen I've seen people diamond paint with tweezers, and I want to be one of those people who are like, hell yeah, I can multiplace six drills with tweezers, but I'm just, we're going to see if I can do it. So here we have uh, stereotypical, stereotypical tweezers that you get in your diamond painting kit. You usually get these kinds or you get the kind that uh, aren't stabby and they are slanted. And I have these, so we're going to try, we're going to try with these pink ones. I'm currently working on this kit. By, or from Oraloa, Amara, Amara and the Book by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. We are over here by her tush here. My hand is wet from going to the bathroom. So that's a nice start to this video. But okay, let's pull out. We're going to pull out numbers or color six or symbol six. Okay, so let's do that. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I have never diamond painted with tweezers. I've tried when I first started diamond painting, which was like, I don't know how long have I had my channel. That's how long ago I've tried, but we're going to give it a shot today. Okay. So far. Oh my God. How am I doing it? I think I'm doing it. Okay. Hold on. Let's move. Let's move you closer. Okay. Okay. So all you got to do is take your tweezer. Okay. The weird, okay, so the thing that I don't already like about diamond painting with tweezers is when you put the drill down, it leaves, because your tweezer point is on like a side of the diamond, of the drills, it's leaving a, a gap, it's leaving a little space from like where the, the point is. So maybe you don't go up and down when you put use tweezers, you go side to side. So let's try that, okay? I am a multi-placing addict. So I like putting down at least three drills at a time. Um, and sometimes when I diamond paint, I don't even use the single placer side of a pen. I literally just put, use a three placer and then just angle down uh, the drills. Okay. Okay, so I think I've ma I'm have i a master now. Okay, wait. So let's say you've done like a whole row. Like that. And now I want to do this row. But then when I use the tweezers on the top and bottom, it's going to leave... See, it leaves a little gap. So then what do I do? Do I do I pick it up? No. But then it's going to leave a gap on the side. So that's where I think I'm kind of confused cuz it's like, okay, cool. I I put the tweeze, I put the drill down, but now there's a gap. Do tweezers work better for rounds? I don't know. Okay. Oh my God, I am now a tweezer diamond painter. Okay, yeah, I put down like 20 drills, guys, and I think I'm a master, so let's try and multi-place now with these drills, okay? Okay, let's pick up, okay, we'll, we'll try and pick up two at a time. <gasps> I'm doing it. This definitely, oh, this definitely requires like a steady hand. Um, okay. Now let's try and do three at a time because I've mastered, I've already mastered, I'm such a professional diamond painter, I've already mastered two at a time. So let's do three drills at a time. Don't mind my phone notifications. I'm also a professional YouTuber. And uh, I left my notifications on for, on purpose, so you could see how popular I am. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Okay. 
Okay, I'm doing it. Uh, I think I mastered three at a time. Oh my god. Okay. Can we do four at a time? Is that a thing? Oh my god, okay. So I think to master four at a time, you kind of have to stretch out, <laughs> stretch out your, your tweezers. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Okay, they're just literally, okay. Oh my god. If you diamond paint with tweezers, leave some tips down below for other people who wish to be tweezer diamond painters. It's going to be the shortest video ever. And I'm going to call it, I'm going to clickbait you and call it the ultimate guide to diamond painting with tweezers. No, I'm not that mean. Am I that mean? Maybe. What does the title say? I don't know. Oh my gosh. And it's stuck underneath here. Okay. Literally, this is so difficult. I think the most that I would do, like if I was a tweezer diamond painter, the most I would do is two. And like this, this literally takes so long. I mean, I'm sure that the more you do it, the, like the better you would get, just like normally anything. Oh my God. my best shot diamond painting with these tweezers and I can honestly say <laughs> that's the most effort I want to put into diamond painting right now because I I am a pen person through and through I this these these are great <laughs> tweezers for me in my opinion are great to pick up like when I accidentally put a, a drill down on a symbol that I didn't mean to, um, they're great for picking up, I don't know, wax from the canvas or putty off the canvas or lint or cat hair or my hair, but these are not for diamond painting, especially for, for me. I know that some of you guys are dedicated tweezer fanatics, but I, I can't do it. Plus, like, okay... You have like these tweezers, and then you have them, ooh, in black, and then they also come in gold or silver, but like, why wouldn't you want to use delicious, fancy pens that are gorgeous instead of like boring-ass tweezers, instead of boring-ass tweezers like this, like, hi, or would you rather be like, hi, that is, that is my question. So for those of you guys who diamond paint with tweezers, give me some tips and maybe I'll follow through with them and try it again. But for the most part, like, yeah, uh, you can get straight placement with tweezers. Um, but honestly, like, no, it's not for me. It's not for me. If you like diamond painting with tweezers, more power to you. I just can't do it. So with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here and you like diamond painting and you want to see me try and diamond paint a different way, leave a comment down below. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I post new videos whenever I feel like it. I also go live at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every Tuesday. So come hang out with me and we have a lot of fun. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.